What what's the three so the three biggest mistakes that you see when it comes to self custody? I presume like splitting, not having more than go on. T- tell me what you I was think. Say, well, leaving it in others' c- c- control, so leaving it on exchanges, leaving it on phone apps, leaving it in, leaving it in different services. Okay. Second would be um, the mismanagement of, of their own, so like overcomplicating their private their private keys, right? And then third would basically be not having a family plan for that. So if you do not have a way of communicating that information in a clear way after your death, unexpected injury, or maybe you just like hit your head on a rock where you're surfing and you're just a little bonked out and you like need money, you have to be able to like in your bonked out state, make sure that your auntie can get into your apartment and like, you know, get your Bitcoins. And if you're all whacked, like, you know, if I fell off my KTM at 120 and hit a tree, I'm I'm not going to be able to describe to her for a while how to do that. So yeah, that that family planning is so important, and you need to make sure that like a lawyer doesn't have access to it all. It needs to be called a treasure map. So basically, the lawyer has a letter that he's supposed to give to your family that tells your family the places to go to access the information, and they need to be places like the lawyer can't go. Like mm-hmm. it needs to be like in a safe in grandma's basement and like in a security deposit box at this bank. And I don't like the security deposit box ones either because there's there's multiple occasions where security deposit boxes have been accessed due to tar- access due to tardiness or because of mistake. They accidentally open a safety deposit box and those 24 words are in there and that money has moved. 